Jesse Magdaleno enters the arena. 24 years old, younger brother of the lightweight contender Diego Magdaleno. This is his big night. He's been saying he's been waiting for this his whole life, and he gets a shot at a former fighter of the year and a top pound for pound fighter in Nonito Donaire. Huge roar for the Filipino Flash. I'm big on this. Donaire is a champion. We know this. He's experienced. We know this. Yeah. And this kid may very well be ready. He's got the tools. But have has any of us ever seen him get hit by a left hook like Nonito Donaire is known for get hitting people with? I, that is no. my concern for him. That, yeah. There's yeah. not many of those. It's my concern. <laughs> not many of those. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your instructions in your dress room. Okay. Right here is okay. Anything below that's low. Right here is okay. Anything below that's low. I want a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Above all, protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. This could be fast and furious. Benito Donaire, former fighter of the year, and again, a top pound for pound fighter as well, with tremendous power against the young lion right there, Jesse oh, yeah. Magdaleno, 24 years old. Mm -hmm. Extensive amateur career. He's got the hair, he's got it going on. He got it going on. And he has punching power as well. Yes, he he mm -hmm. Tim Bradley, what do you look for early here? Fill out round. Early round, both guys got firepower. They're gonna fill each other out. See what each other, see what uh, one another is trying to do in there. See what the game plan is. Brian Kenny, Tim Bradley, and Stephen A. Smith here ringside. This is the fight that we expected to be the fight of the night. Evenly matched guy on the way up and a guy trying to get back toward the top. Donaire has a belt right now, but he has been knocked out. He was dropped, derailed in his championship run by Guillermo Rigondeau, which is no disgrace, no. by the way. Rigondeau is a master boxer. Yes, he is. And that was a masterpiece, although some thought he stunk it out. You could go either way on that. Yeah, well, there was a lot of excuses after the fight. Um, his shoulder, you know, he said he had a shoulder shoulder injury during that during the course of the fight. So. Yeah, but he owned up to that yeah. when we spoke to him, and he said, yeah. look, he goes, I had to come to the grips with, I would have lost to him even if I didn't hurt my shoulder, which is true. Again, Rigondeau is kind of like what we saw with Shimming or Vasil Lomachenko. An incredible amateur pedigree. Right, yeah. one of the greatest amateurs in the history of the sport. Well, I'm more interested in the fact that when he got knocked out by the axe man, he said, Think the good Lord is the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah. I'm waiting to see how that is. You know, that reminded me of Stephen A., George Foreman, yeah. who even when, when Ali passed, and everyone said, Well, you had to feel just terrible when you lost your title to Ali in the thriller in Manila. He said, No, that changed my life. That saved my life. It is a feeling out process here. Yeah. Little jab from Magdaleno. And Donaire yeah, tries with the right hand. He's trying to find a home for that, for that right hand. Magdaleno is physical, isn't he, Tim? He's very physical, but right now he's trying to, he's getting a little bit ahead of himself. He has to stay composed right now. It's too early to get in That's there. That's what right I was going to ask you, Tim. I don't think he needs to wait because Donaire, to me, you, you want to attack him early. If you can. If you can. You've got to be cautious, especially in open. You don't want to get caught cold. Donaire has firepower. Yes. So you you want to warm up to it. You know, that's what he's doing right now. He's filling them out right now. It'll get busy. You'll see. It'll start getting busy. I just think Magdaleno is an aggressive individual. Why be away from that? I'm kind of with you with that. Now, the champ looks, I don't know, he doesn't look cold, but it looks slightly flat. Yeah. Press the issue. I'm with you on that. Donaire, of course, has one of the best left hooks yeah. in the sport. He don't want to get hit with that check hook coming in, I can tell you that much. So he better be composed. Very rough stuff on the inside as they clash. But legal. Yep. Nobody's trying to get dirty. Right. They're just getting on top of each other. Now this was a cautious round. Yeah. But with a lot of latent firepower, there's a lot of intensity. You see Magdaleno right there. He runs in with the right hand. You see Donaire step back and snipe him with the right hand. That's where Magdaleno has to, he has to compose himself and be patient. Let it come. Let the fight develop. But he threw the punch, missed, jumped out though. Everything's very there. fine. Station every time. Only one thing I need from you, just when you stay, when you stay in the corner, just to keep a, a space. You need to keep a space at the rope and corner. And then you can hit him. Okay. Let's try to double up on it, yes? 
so you doing so if you double up on the job on the jab you make it harder for him to counter you understand now listen take his ass back he can't GG. fight going back GG, baby. you notice he loses you notice he loses control on the way back after my piece you notice he loses control when he steps back take him back you did take the tempo but stay sharp okay no mistakes tim i always love it when a trainer is specific mm -hmm. in what he wants you to do. He gave, that's Manny Robles in the corner. New trainer, first fight with Jesse Magdalena was ultra specific with what he wanted him to do. Yes. And that's double up on that jab. Yes, he has a strong corner. And that's why, that's why I feel that he has a good chance of winning this fight as well. He had a good preparation for this fight. He said it was the best training camp ever. I'm not gonna feel that way until I see how he takes getting hit. You know, he had trouble making weight in his last bunch of fights. People were ringside. I remember talking to Dan Rayfield of ESPN.com said, well, we'll see how this goes, because he's at all these things. And he's seen Magdaleno not make weight. But with Manny Robles, they said no issues, no problems, nutrition, training, yeah. everything proper. And he came in and made weight easy. Easy. So I, when a guy says he's a new man, I'm willing to believe it. Donaire says he is psychologically a new man. Yeah. We haven't seen that yet. I don't believe that. Magdaleno, busy so far, tries with shot to the body. Nice right hand by down there. Right down the middle. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Crisp right hooks from Magdaleno. Nice right hook. Nice overhand left by Magdaleno. He's skilled and he's fast. See, now he's picking his spots when he wants to attack and when he wants to get out and, and box. That's what he's going to need to do in this fight, right? For right now. You know, there's, there's this, this is a 12-round fight. You don't want to rush it. But you also don't want to wait, wait too long. Donaire almost unleashed the hook. And Magdaleno nodded in response. Like, yeah, there it is. Now, Magdaleno, very experienced kid. Again, he's 24 years old, but he's one of six kids. His brother, again, Diego Magdaleno, terrific fighter. 120 amateur wins, won a national championship in 2009. Beat Rasheed Warren, nice thing, which right. is a real win. Oh, yeah. Magdaleno's following his instructions from Manny to the T. He said, you first, she's first. Get in, get out, but you first. He's doing it thus far. I had an opportunity to spar Magdaleno for the, it was the pack out two fight. <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> I ain't never been hit by a small guy the way you hit me to the body. Um, he actually bruised my ribs for about two weeks <laughs> bro, leading into the fight. Really? And he's giving oh, yeah. up 20 pounds, and right? And he's giving up 20 pounds. Absolutely. Yeah, this, he's, he has a serious demeanor about him, right? Good yeah. fighting spirit. Yes. You can see it. Yes. Oh, good. Straight Crisp left, left hand. hand. Yeah. And then to the body. Tony Weeks asked him to get that up right at the belt. Oh, it's, it's starting to it's starting to heat up now. It's starting to heat up. Donaire moves in, but good work in that final minute. And Jesse Magdalena. Remember, I said this. He better not stand still at any time. Magdalena, don't stand there. Rachel, Nonito Donaire's wife. That that will be her demeanor the whole fight. So she's chill. She's chill. Okay. That'll be her demeanor the whole fight. She will not. You will not see her standing up. Screaming or saying anything, she'll be just chill, just like that. But not too far, okay? Calm, cool, and collected. Move your feet. So once you step back outside, you're no longer there for the counters, and you counter back. You start, step back, back inside, counter. Counter the counter, baby. Right here, you see, you see Magdaleno step up with a double left hook to the body and to the head. He set that up with the straight left first, then got over to the side, bang to the body, and bang with the left hook, the, the right hook to the head. Round number three, and again, we expect this to heat up. Very slow round one. Round two got a little more serious. And here we are in round number three for a WBO belt, Nonito Donaire at 122 pounds, seen universally as being in the top three. Donaire's getting a little bit more aggressive. He's trying to inch closer to Magdaleno right now. 
I mean, so far, Timmy, you haven't done much, right? I mean, just we haven't seen the arsenal uh, yet. So far, it's Magdaleno pressing the action, although Donaire moves in now, just as I say it, tries to get close. You know, it's funny because Magdaleno doesn't look physically big when he's walking around. You know, the sweatshirt with the hat and everything else. And then in the ring, you see when they meet, he's a strong, strong guy. He's strong. Smaller but strong. Good body shot body from Magdaleno. And then up to the head. Now, there's a good game plan at work here with Magdaleno, isn't it? Yeah, Magdaleno right now looks like he's trying to sit back and counter punch. Because Donaire is coming forward, leaving himself exposed. He's taking he's taking chances at times, and Magdaleno's sitting back waiting on him to be able to counter punch. To me, thus far, Magdaleno is clearly fast. Yeah, more hair trigger. Yes. Yep. Interesting that you bring up the hair. The hair could be a distraction. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that's what I was thinking. <laughs> There's a little macho time going on in there, isn't there? Macho time. You know? <laughs> you trying to punch the guy, see something blonde waving in your direction. Wow, the blinder. Could be right. Donaire now moves in. Magdaleno with a shot to the body. Donaire's pressing on that gas pedal right now. Not really hitting him flesh right now. Lands, lands a hook to the body as Magdaleno went by him. And then a right hand. Magdaleno needs to move more and stay out of those corners. Donaire wants to prove something, too, that he's got power in both hands. And that was a, a right hand that hit Magdaleno. Didn't rock him. And he knows everyone is aware of his power hook. Donaire's trying to press on the gas a little bit. He's trying, he's trying to see exactly what Magdaleno is made of right he's now. Stalking. He's stalking him right now. He's, he's, trying to, the la, he's trying to let Magdaleno know that, hey, I'm the big dog out here. I'm the, I'm the champion. Crowd starting to come in here and fill the place. We expect about 14, 15,000, as I mentioned earlier, out here at the Thomas and Mack Center. Brian Let's Kenny, go. Tim Bradley, and Stephen A. Smith here ringside enjoying these dying. fights. This is an interesting okay. fight. It is. Just you see, right. It looked like Magdalena was dictating, dictating, stronger, faster, and then Donaire pressing himself a little yeah. bit more in that last round. I'm curious to see what the fourth scorecard oh, is right now. It's a good point. Yeah, you can score this fight as well. I got a 2-1 Magdalena. Round four, as Donaire moves forward, we are calculating for you right now, and we will show it to you as soon as it comes out, what the crowd is saying. All three, Donaire. Oh, huh. that's surprising. How dare they, how dare they disagree with me? <laughs> <laughs> Stephen A., I'm with you. I'm with you. I think two rounds went to Magdalena, although I'm, you know, calling the fight and scoring it is difficult, if not impossible. That's why I'm here. I don't mind. <laughs> so you can do both. I, we found the guy who can do both. It's a miracle. Magdaleno, good work there. Nice right hook. Donaire is using his experience right now. He's he's using his presence, being in front of him, making Magdaleno always ready, constantly. That drains you. That drains you as a fighter. That's it, a good it, word, Tim. I like presence, right? It's a psychological pressure. Oh, absolutely. He's not doing much. He's not landing a lot of punches right now, but it's just his presence being in front of him all the time. Pressing on the gas pedal. You see Magdaleno backing up. Now he's cut. He's cut yeah, right yep. now. There, there's blood on the shoulder yep. of Donaire. Over the left eye. Yep. Magdaleno. I don't know if that was caused by a clash of heads or oh, was that a nice punch? Strike. I'm not sure. Magdaleno, sharp shot moving in. They, they're jumping into each other. There's a lot of potential for either one. A short shot, a strafing shot like that left hand, or a clash of heads. Yeah. We're in the fourth round again. If anything would, should to happen more drastic, if we finish this round, then we go to the scorecards. We're nowhere near that now. But there is blood. Yes, it is. Over the left eye. Magdalena. Oh, you know what? It is shielded, too, from the hair. I yes, that up the hair, hairline. I told you. Yeah. That blonde stuff, man. <laughs> huh. We'll try to look at the replays and see yeah. what could have happened, if that was a clash of heads, if that was from a punch. 
We're, we're being told by our people in the truck that it was a clash of heads. So Doesn't matter. He's still got to fight. Oh, see if they can control that bleeding. Let's see what he can do with it. Right now, Donaire is dictating right now. He's dictating every moment right now. He's, he's, he's making Magdaleno, Jesse Magdaleno dances to his rhythm, man. That's been happening for the last couple of rounds. After the yes. first two, he started standing a little bit stationary. You know, people don't realize this. When you get cut and you have that blood dripping down in your eye, it's hard to see. Oh. You know, you can see you see him scraping his eye like that yeah. because he can't see out of that eye right now. So Magdaleno is fighting in a spirited way, though. He is firing out shots, but there is that little bit of yeah. urgency now that he's feeling. Yes. Well, he's going to have to do a little bit more. He, he, uh, he's just bagging up right now, and, that, and that's favoring Donaire right now. What does favor him to some degree, Magdaleno, I'm talking about, is that bleeding over that left eye, at least you're not bleeding over your right eye where you're more susceptible to the yeah. left hook. Yeah. They're going to have to get to work on that. Again, Jesse Magdaleno cut as he goes to his corner in Manny Robles. Take a look and see if we find it here. There it is. Huh. Yeah, it didn't seem like much. And then a hook from Donaire. But it, it doesn't take much, right? It don't there. take much. No. You know, it's real, real soft. It, it's real soft up there. There's no meat. Muy importante. Cuando cuando lo metas a las cuerdas ahí déjalo, no te salgas. Ya hiciste lo más difícil. Okay. You did the hardest thing, which is to turn him around and put him on the ropes. Keep him there. Okay. And punish the body and finish on top, baby. You got the fifth round coming up, okay? He's coming straight at you. Right. Jesse, he's walking. All right, so it looks like that cut is right over the eyebrow for Jesse Magdaleno. They have put up the sign that said accidental headbutt. We're through four. So if it does have to stop because of the flow of blood, as we go into round five, it will go to the scorecards. Trainer just told Magdaleno, pressure, hit him to the body. I think, Timmy, am I wrong? I think that he's a bit timid to do that. He is a worried bit timid. about the nearest power. He, he is right now, but he has to do what he has to do with the trainer's telling him. When you when you have a guy that's just coming down and just pressing you all night, oh man, a beautiful right hand on the top, down there, dude. You to get him to bag off of you, you go down to that body. If you go down to that body, because no one likes to get hit to that body, you go drop down that body. That's the reason why his trainer was telling him to go down there to try to keep Donaire at bay. You can see by the CompuBox stats that it indicates a fairly even fight so far, at least not lopsided in any way. A little hook there as Magdaleno stepped in. Donaire starts to open up the attack. Well, Magdaleno lunged forward and Donaire made him pay with a body shot. Good right hand, Donaire stepping in. And this fight has turned around yes. drastically from that first and second round. Yes, it has. Got to deal with in the last two rounds. Now Donaire is doubling up on the jab. Good head movement there by Donaire. Magdaleno steps in, hits with Embrody. You know, there's one thing that, that kind of stood out to me in the fighter meeting yesterday is that I was talk when we were talking to his trainer, Manny Robles, he said that he sparred about 400 rounds for this fight. 400 rounds. Is that too much? <laughs> That's like four training camps in, in one. Mm. 400 rounds of sparring, is, I believe, is a little bit too much. If just <laughs> a little bit too much. Right. I, no, if, well, Tim, if, if Tim Bradley is saying it's too much, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Well, that's listen, a lot. you're not that's a lot of rounds. He's sitting next to somebody that thinks three is too much. Mm. Okay. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying that, you know, conditioning-wise, they feel that, you know, he's ready for the moment. But strength-wise, is he strong enough? 400 rounds of sparring, that's a lot of rounds. So your conditioning is up, but you might adapt yourself But you might adapt yourself from some strength. And he hasn't been at this low weight in a long time. I tell you, the, uh, the blood is not an issue. Nope. And you can see that the job of Miguel Diaz is in the corner for Magdaleno. And th there's no bleeding so far. So they, they've really patched that up nicely. Who, who's this cut, man? Miguel Diaz? Yes. Oh, yeah. Miguel Diaz is one of the best. So nicely seen that that's a non-issue as they trade 
at the belt because I'm expecting this second half of the fight to be much, much better. We're just getting there. Yeah. It's like I told you, he's been at he's been at the bottom, he's been at the top. He knows what it's like at both ends. He knows he don't want to go back to the bottom. So he showed up tonight. Don't dare, I'm talking about. Don't dare showed up tonight. He's dictating this fight. He's pushing the pace on Magdaleno. And uh, we'll see what's going to happen in the second half of the fight. Magdaleno needs to step it up right now. He does need to step it up. He hasn't stepped up the last two rounds. Came out strong. Is faded just a touch. Doesn't need to do that against the man. And you see it. That round starts now. We'll start round number six. There was a... a a full committee in the corner for Magdaleno as Donaire just stood there, calm and waiting for it to start as he throws out a wicked right hand just missed. Now, Both fighters. Ooh. Now, a, all Donaire, a shutout, by the way, from everybody on Twitter. Right now, Mag Magdaleno is actually... Uh, Twitter's losing their mind right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a shutout. I don't know what the hell those people are talking about. He just landed actually three, three mm. good crisp jabs yeah. on the top on Donaire, and that right hook. And Manny Robles trying to get him back to that game plan that we spoke about earlier. And he's got a specific plan. Goes in, now tries to double up on the jab. For Donaire, we mentioned that he's a very self-aware guy, isn't he? I mean, just yes, talking about changing his life, saying that like, he's seen so many fighters when they lose after they've been on top, they go into a spiral. Yes. And so he went to seminars, I think Carissa mentioned he went to Tony Robbins. He's read books, The Power of Habits, trying to break his own habit. Oh, took a shot. Hard shot from Magdaleno. Ooh. Let's go to Christina Poncho in the corner. What are they saying there, Christina? I was listening to Ismael Salas tell Nonito that you need to get back into your rhythm. He's walking in straight. There's no bounce side to side. There's no rhythm that they worked on. They want him to put the balance on his left foot and go side to side as he moves in and he's crowding against the ropes not giving his left hook enough space to land so we want him to back up a little bit and make room for that left hook that we know is oh so vicious all right christina thank you yeah a little sloppier here and again when it comes down to if you're judging the fight and everybody can judge at home on twitter but scoring blows it's not about presence ring generalship i know that's part of that's like the, yeah. the, the tertiary thing but really how many times are you scoring how many shots are you landing there's a good body shot for Magdaleno. And I'd say in this round, Magdaleno he's has answered back. He's yep. having a good round this he round. Because he's been a dictator. He's stop, dictating. Stop, stop. He's just not laying back and letting Donaire do whatever he wants. He's actually firing before Donaire even get close now. Donaire says that he looks for fighters' habits, distance, demeanor, frequency. Yeah. But Magdaleno makes it tough with the work rate. You know, he's consistent yeah. in his attack. He is right now. Magdaleno's moving when he has to, but he's what I'm what I mean is he's firing at the right time now. Instead of letting Donaire just dictate and throw his hands, he's throwing his hands first, like there. And he's not doing the same thing every round though. So he's not being that predictable. Yeah. So it's difficult to figure out his pace. It's Katie. He only gets in trouble when he stands right in front of him like that. He needs to keep moving. I know it's been wide on Twitter, but this could be very interesting on the actual judges' scorecards, don't you think? I think it's going to be interesting. Could be close. Very possible. Let's listen in. So I need to. Se está que. El agua. El agua. Mijo, se está quedando, eh? Se está empezando a quedar. Okay? Dame la Voy a poner agua, eh? Que no me saque la. Sí, no, tranquilo. Si te estás dando cuenta, ¿no? Que se está empezando a quedar, ¿no? Pues con nosotros estamos bien, hijo. Estamos listos para hacer 12, 15 rounds necesarios. El corte ya está curado. ¿Ok? No te preocupes por la cosa. Pero, hijo, pero quiero más trabajo, ¿yo? Sí. Más trabajo, tóquelo y duro. ¿Sí? Ya está bajando la intensidad. Ahora usted levante. Sí. Que no le roben los rounds. ¿Ok, amigo? Que no le roben los rounds. Interesting fight so far. WBO belt is on the line with Jesse Magdaleno and Nonito Donaire. I tell you, we're halfway through now, and again, I'm not scoring this. People at home have it a wipeout. I if Magdaleno I had you. that last round and maybe the first two, I got be very interesting. I got right? the first two. I got him up three two on Donaire. He won rounds one, three, one, two. And, and five. I got it. And what about six? Is that a three-three? Okay. 
Three, three. I got three, two. Right. I got three, two. I'm sorry. Unofficially. Unofficially. And, and you know what? As we speak about this, and again, with Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley, I was calling that fight. It was like, what fight are you watching? You can't score it you know, while you're calling it, but you can give an indication at least as to what you think is happening. And Magdaleno yeah. bounced back nicely in that last round. Yeah. That's good. All right, let's see what the uh, let's see what the people are saying on Twitter. And again, you can let us know what you think on twittercom ah. boxing. Magdalena won that sixth round. All right, they're getting there. They're getting there. <laughs> There's hope for them after let all. Them know. Yeah, there you go. Donaire answering with the hook there. But good consistent jabs from Magdaleno to stay in it. See, now Magdaleno's back posing again. He needs to let his hands go. So Donaire gets near. He needs to let his hands go first. He needs to be dictator now. He's back posing again. Donaire looked like he's looking to land one, one hard punch, and that's the right hand on Magdaleno. This is the first time that the Filipino flash, Donito Donaire, has been on the same fight card as Manny Pacquiao. Hmm. And he credits Manny Pacquiao for kind of paving the way. And Magdaleno, sharp shot. Jolted the jaw. Beautiful. Of Nonito De Niro. Beautiful right here. And Pacquiao coming out of the Philippines. Yeah. Winning fights at the lower weight classes was a marvel. You know, he had kind of announced his presence beating Marco Antonio Barrera. He was kind of a yeah. legendary cult figure before then. Pacquiao ran through everybody. Well, eventually, yeah. <laughs> Going up through the round, let's see you name it. He, he, he fought everybody. Trilogies with a yes. number of guys. With you, yes. Morales. See a little puffiness around uh, Donaire's left eye. That right hook might have something to do with that. Yeah. Hard nice body, body shot, shot by Donaire. See, but the thing is, Donaire didn't do anything. I mean, Magdaleno didn't do anything off of that. Stop, stop, he didn't stop, do anything no, no, after no. that. You know, when you when you have a guy coming forward and he's just he's throwing punches at you and you're not throwing punches back, that's that's a bad remedy for the judges. We're through seven. Well, I, I, I like Mayweather, and that's his style, because it's sure. exciting for me. <laughs> he said long ago, I, you know, I don't know everybody in my blood in a concussion. He's right. Get your W, <laughs> walk away, and get paid. But the fans want to see excitement. But to each his own, right? Round eight here, Donaire and Magdaleno. Jesse Magdaleno, 23-0, and 0, 17 knockouts, taking a step up to fight the world champion and a former pound-for-pound -pound fighter as well. It is sort of an awkward rhythm, isn't it? I mean, they kind of jump in to each other. They haven't quite found what they want to do yet. Just the dynamic between the two. You got two smart fighters in the ring. That's, 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 that's what happens. You got two smart, intelligent fighters with, with a lot of firepower, a lot of power. You know, they don't want to get hit by one another, you know? So they're going to they gonna take their time. They're going to pick their shots. And there throws the left jab. Magdaleno. Of course, check. Magdaleno just landed. That shot right there is what bruised my rib. <laughs> that shot right there. He'll sometimes sweep with the sweep with his right hook and he'll, he'll go right down to the body with it. He just caught Donaire two times in a row. With it. A little counter jab there from Donaire. Now they open into the chest back, but trading shots and Magdaleno with a good right hook lands again. There it is, down to the body again. This is interesting. He's a lot of scoring shots, and Donaire lands again. See, he's going down to that body. He's trying to take Donaire's power away from him, and he's trying to take his legs away from him. That's what body shots do, guys. Later in the fight, we're going to see how Donaire's, Donaire's condition is going to be. Another body shot, and then a right hook from Magdaleno. He's scoring now quite often. And hitting a lot. And, and again, body. he's counter-punching. He's kind of punching beautifully right now. Magdaleno in a good rhythm. Remember when I said that they weren't quite in a good rhythm yet? I think yes. Magdaleno has found it. He's finally found his rhythm, yes. I think this is arguably his best round. Oh, 
but he has to continue. There it is again. The judges are, are experienced judges. Steve Weisfeld from New Jersey, Bert Clements of Nevada, Adelaide Bird of Nevada. Body shot there by Magdalena. All those shots are set up by that body punch. Oh, uppercut there by Donaire. He comes in and tried to unload that hook. It's been a very high-level fight so far, but we wonder, will we get a firefight? That would be exciting. It might turn out. <laughs> it might turn out a little bit later. Never know. At a certain point, yes. When you got to win a round, and the yes. man's in front of you. I mean, you're right. This is when you have world-class guys. Everybody, they're wary. They're skilled. Yeah. No one's going to do anything crazy. But we're still waiting for the eruption, aren't we? Uh, absolutely. Main event, a little later on tonight, there is Jesse Vargas, all smiles. Yeah. And Jesse Vargas in most everybody's top 10 in that welterweight division as well. You're up there a few rungs ahead of him. Well, there. he should He should be, he should be. This is, a, this is a young man that's willing to travel over to England and face, and face anybody willing to go across cross and do whatever he willing to go to he willing to go to the moon and face anybody there he, he'll fight anybody anywhere anytime i respect jesse vargas i like his fighting style and i like him as a, you know i love it when i love it when fighters say something like that my the question that i that i that i have to ask did he do it for free no he didn't do it for free but a lot, listen a lot of the welterweights in the division was offered to fight manny pacquiao and guess what they did they turned it down so you got fighters that don't want to fight. They got you got fighters that don't want to fight Manny Pacquiao due to the fact that the purse wasn't the offer wasn't good enough for them. That's what they felt. Who is the masked man, Stephen A? Any clue? I have no <laughs> clue whatsoever. Help me out. Round nine. Nodito Donaire, Jesse Magdaleno. It's been a tight fight. Again, we invite you to score this fight too, because that, that this is what it might come down to. Unless something big lands, and it will be interesting to see how it is scored. It could Nonito. be very tight. Yeah, Nonito's eyes is still swelling. He's a little bit... There we go. That's good scoring in the eighth round, I think. Magdaleno did excellent work. So the fourth score, the fourth score card has it two rounds, two mm -hmm. rounds of six. Yes. I got it 5-3. By the way, Nonito is looking slower. Yeah, he has brought it down a bit. You're absolutely right, Stephen A. It's the body shots. Yeah, the work at the work rate. And his right eye bleeds. Nice shot. Straight left. Wow. Punches are still very crisp from Jesse Magdaleno. And again. You can see his motor is running, isn't it, Tim? Yes, it is right now. Right now, he's finding a home for that, that, that left hand to the body. Nonito's finding a home for that right hand, though. I'm a little worried about that. And you see the blood now over the right eye of Nonito Donaire. It's every time Magdaleno stands, like he's standing right there in front of Nonito is when he gets hit. But when he moves off to the side or, you know, he finds a different angle, he doesn't get hit by that right hand. He has to get out of the line of fire. He has to get off that line. There you go, pick his feet up. survives. Wow. What a round for Magdaleno. 
Big round for him. Big round. Good Let's go back to the beginning. Oh, he hit him with the check, check, check right hook. Steps in, he follows him. Now he's on the attack. Goes over and right, left hook. You know, he's just more right physical, hand. too. Like, even when he's not hitting him with shots, he's moving forward, he's moving and he'll forward. hit you with your shoulder. Yes, 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 he is. But he had Donaire hurt right there. Did Donaire showed a lot of composure, because he, sta he stayed up on the ropes, yeah. but he wasn't wobbled, hurt. But he gathered but his in wits. It. He gathered mm -hmm. his wits. He, he had it together on the ropes. You see him putting his hands up, getting yep. in position. All that experience, and Donaire survives, but... Jesse Magdaleno is racking up rounds. And again, for everyone that was voting on Twitter, you wonder if the judges had that inclination, which would have been surprising to have it that wide. But Magdaleno is now racking up round after oh, round. Oh, oh, he's oh, he caught him. Donaire oh. with the firepower. Magdaleno still hurt right now. His legs don't look yes, good right now. Fires off a good better move. Pushes Donaire way, way back. He is firing with that jab, even when he was hurt and on wobbly legs. Yeah. Swelling under the left eye of Nonito Donaire. It's not anything that will close the eye as of yet, but it's building. That jab has found a home. Again, oh, Galeno. Right. Nito's trying to find another home for that right hand. He's trying to find a home for that right hand. Magdaleno better start moving. Move away from that right hand. He's backing him into the corner. Now he spins out. But you're right. He's kind of lulling him in there, whereas in the last round, Magdaleno would not stand to be trapped like that. But he's standing right in front of him. That's, that's what I'm saying. He has to move away from that right hand. Get away from that right Major hand. Major thing he's doing wrong, Ryan. All he has to do is move. Don't they can't catch him. Still stocking. Still stocking. And Magdaleno pushed down. As now we see the first like effects of some fatigue, right? Not that that matters a lot, but he's slightly fatigued. Even though he's the younger yeah. man by nine years. Well, that's an old veteran trick right there. When the guy drops below you, what you do is you, you push him down because you want him to use some strength. Mm, right. You want to take some of his legs away from him and get him used to touching the canvas, exactly. right? Exactly. Another good jab for Magdaleno as he moves in. Again, jab and hook has been extremely effective for Jesse Magdaleno. Donaire trying to get close enough to land something hard. And he is working hard, but gets tied up. Good use there of the clinch, right? Yes. Now, I mean, normally we hate that, yes. but if you do it quickly, tie him up, get out. He's been doing that the last few rounds. Yep. Go. See, he's standing stationary, and he's just pulling right back into the right hand. He cannot do that. Measuring him, but Magdalena comes back hard left hands. And moves Donaire into the ropes with what exactly what you're saying, waiting for that right hand, trying to drop with the right. Again. There it is again. A lot of interesting moments in that round. Donaire landed his shot. Magdaleno did excellent work. Stephen A., you want to score that round for me? <laughs> That was an even one. There I mean, that, was, that, 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 re, that really was. That, that could have gone either way, that, but Magdalena was aggressive. I'm going to give that round to him slightly. Short right hand right off the shoulder drilled Magdaleno. But did you see how he hit him? Because the, Magdaleno keeps stepping, he keeps stepping straight back, right in the line of fire, stick, stepping straight back, and he's well, allowing Donito to hit. Donito caught him early. After he caught him early, then after that, Magdaleno was able to hit, clutch or move i agree with you I, the rest I, of the round but now that's a big right hand that he landed i mean so you got to weigh these things there's yes. no it's not perfect you don't have a perfect yes. system but i agree with you the rest of the round was yes. his. That's he a, got hit he got hit with that shot because he threw a right hook right out in front i'm telling you he threw a hook right out in front he didn't get his head to the side and throw the, throw the right hook it's been a very good fight we've been warming up to it crowd getting excited we're in the 11th round scheduled for 12. it's a title fight Donaire's WBO belt is on the line.
take a look at some punch stats here. You see Magdaleno landing 99, Donaire 73. His work rate is about the same. Landing a few more shots. That seems to make sense with yeah. what we're seeing. Steve, you know, who you got winning this fight right now? Right now, Magdaleno, I got to make rounds to three. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you right now. That's There's a hook by Donaire. Oh, Magdaleno, though, is in good shape. The crowd went crazy. Oh, oh there's no, a no. hook again by Donaire. Woo! Now he's starting to land. Starting to heat up in there. Oh. Both guys know what's on, line, on the line right now. Donaire knows that if he loses this fight, this could be the end for his career. And Magdaleno knows that, hey, if he wins this fight, this could be the start of his career. By the way, I meant seven rounds to three. I apologize, but that's what I got. Not right now. I don't. This crowd is a very pro Donaire crowd, so when he starts doing some good work, you'll hear that scream as the place has filled up during this fight. And big right hand that missed. And this win in this round thus far. Scored him with two big shots. Mm -hmm. But now, good hook by, just took. Good hook by Magdaleno as he answers back. It's a really good technical fight. And in this round, I think we've seen a few more power shots from Donaire landing. Yes. It's been very infrequent through most of this fight. I mean, just excellent work. I mean, yes. obviously you see Magdaleno stepping up at just the right time. And Donaire, the old warrior, been through some wars. The Cesar Juarez fight was a fight of the year. That was, that's hard to go through. Yeah. Stephen A., you mentioned Nicholas Walter's fight where he got knocked out in the sixth round. Axe man, put him, put him out. So now we're in round 11, final minute of this round. A good body shot by Magdaleno. Good body shot, but he's got to be careful to avoid that left hook. One punch can change everything, <laughs> especially in this fight. Yes, it can. He really hasn't got hit too much with the no. left hook tonight. Not solid. I think I think he landed this hook more on uh, Donaire than Donaire was able to land his left But he looks a touch more fatigued now than he did earlier, obviously, so it might affect him more if it happens. Yeah. Donaire measuring him. Nice. Trying to get in with the left hand, but no, good work by Magdaleno. You see how he went off line there? He went off line and, and fired back. He didn't go straight back. He took a little angle and was able to fire back. Beautiful work. We're going to the 12th and final round. Wow. I said 8-3 earlier, meaning 7-3. It's 8-3 now. Magdalene. Okay. Okay. We talked to Nonito Donaire and he said, hey, he was ungrateful for what he had when he was on top. He's grateful for things now. But this is the reality of the business. Someone is going, you got a belt, someone's going to be moving on up to try to take it from you. Magdaleno making a good run at him tonight. Yes, yes, Magdaleno okay. is. He's making a good run at him. I don't know what the scorecards are reading, going to be reading after this fight, after the 12th round. We still got one round to go, but, um, you know, Donaire, Donaire came out. I think he, he's putting on his best show right now. He truly is. He, he's going for it. He's stepping to Magdaleno. He's firing when he has to fire. He's, he's doing what he can right now at this moment. I, I nah, think, mate, he's not I think it looks good. He's, not, well, yeah. he's connecting. He's connecting that not right enough. hand sometimes. He is. 12th and final round. I agree with you in that Magdaleno's been consistent in his attack. Yeah. He's been very consistent in his efficiency. Doing. Yep, correct. Donaire has that power. He's landed some shots, but it's been very difficult. Ooh, that body shot again. You can see the effect of this fight on both fighters' faces as well. Like, even though it hasn't been a wild, epic brawl, it's been a hard-hurting fight. And a good body shot by Magdaleno. Ages and a hook. Keep trading left hooks. More so Donaire, uh, Brian. Magdaleno scoffs from a headbutt. Here's what you're saying at home. Twitter.com slash TR Boxing. They're learning. Oh, last two for Donaire. They, the people, the crowds, have Donaire way up. You've got Wait Magdalena way up. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, they gave that one to Donaire. No way. Oh, 
Magdaleno continues to jab. I think, I think Magdaleno right now is landing the cleaner punches. He's more effective, he's more consistent with his attack. And I think he's winning this fight right now. Halfway done in round 12, and Donaire, I believe, needs to do something here. I could be wrong, maybe he's up. I don't think so. He tries it there, missed with the uppercut again. Magdaleno just too slick. Ooh, oh, right hand by Donaire. Oh, right hand. Short, chopping hand by Donaire. Ooh. Magdaleno has weathered it. Misses with a hook. Wow. They're trading big shots right now. Donaire seems to know what's on the line and probably believes he's trailing. Ooh. And again, do you see his face? He is paying a price every time he yes. steps in. But he's going for it. Another right hand oh. tries again. Magdaleno oh. spins out. For a, a few, for a half a second, it looked like Magdaleno may have buckled. But he rides the ship, and we're in the final 10 seconds. Donaire comes in with a right. Eats a left hook from Magdaleno. And this one is pretty exciting. Wow. Wow. Who well, you give that round to? <laughs> I gave it. I give it to Donaire. I, I give the round to Donaire, but yeah. not the fight. Magdalena showed me he could take a punch. Yeah. He could move. He's got a lot more, a lot more poise than we realized. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. You know what I like? When you asked me who won that round, I was like, oh, I wasn't even thinking of that. <laughs> yeah, just enjoying it. Just enjoying the fight. But they're going to have to judge this fight. I right. mean, they were exchanging blow by oh. blow. Good 12th round, Tim Bradley. Yep, they, that straight right hand I've been talking about. Magdaleno walking right into it, stepping back right into it, giving him that full extension on that right hand. Here it is. Oh, Dan, <laughs> Magdaleno <laughs> checking him with the right yep. hook. You know, they kept exchanging these shots, exchanging punches, power blows all night. There's a right hand again by, by uh, Donaire. He tried again, he's just missed there. Tried to the uppercut and just missed. You could tell, I mean, Donaire had that urgency. In There's the right round. hand again this round. He knew he had to hit him with some hard shots. He was trying to knock him out. Yes. He thanks the crowd, the Filipino flash with all these Philippine fans. But good, consistent work by the 24-year-old Jesse Magdaleno. Here's what the punch stats were saying and see if we can get some indication from there. It's good sportsmanship by both fighters. Magdaleno goes into the corner. Pretty close. Close Donaire fight. Landing 132. Magdaleno 154. Magdaleno throwing more punches. This stuff is short and crispy. Yeah. Donaire is, is longer and thudding. Let's see what the people say on twitter.com slash TR boxing. Donaire sweeps the last three. Insanity. They have it nine to three. All right, we're ready. This should be interesting. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of win resorts, we go to the scorecards. Bert Clements and Steve Weisfeld score the bout 116 to 112. Adelaide Bird has it 118 to 110. All three scores go to the winner by unanimous decision. And new WBO champion, still undefeated. Jesse Magdaleno. Basically eight rounds to four. Yep. Jesse Magdaleno has unseated Nonito Donaire, dethroning the champ.